So put it very simply, if you look at it, you can be on the outside looking in, but you will only win if you're on the inside. When I first came here and I wanted to be a communicator with my accent and my background, the first trainer I went to looked at me and he says, really, this is what you want to do with it? He says, I don't think you make a very good living at it. What was he saying? Was he busting my dream? No. The evidence I had given him made him make a decision. Opinions are like belly buttons. Everyone has one. It's no big deal. I was not bitter at that guy. I fired him four years later when he was working for me. Well, I'm just kidding. Lighten up. <laughs> but I had a choice to make. The inventory you take of yourself. What was he saying? Do you have to learn new vocabulary? Yeah. I quickly realized, moving to the West, that accents are geographic. They're not genetic. I was not stuck a certain way because my dad had to do it that way. I could make a decision for myself. Now, every step you take takes effort. So if I wanted what was at point B, the opportunity to eventually share a stage with the president, which I got to do, takes effort. I can tell you without any fear of error, I wake up within 30 minutes of 4.30 in the morning, no matter where in the world I am. The reason is not to impress anybody, but the reason is to make the decision to outrun the competition. 3% thinking is never about how much you know. It's how much else you know. It's always that little bit more, that little bit extra. Tradition is not a strategy, it's just a foundation. I come from the land of India. Riddled with tradition, a karmic mindset, everything is negative oriented. When I four wrote my first book and my dad looked at it and he says, son, you don't go around telling people you wrote a book, something bad could happen. Why would you write a book if you're not gonna tell anybody you wrote it? But he was stuck in that tradition. Don't tell anybody when good happens because something bad will happen. That's not a strategy. You're saying, well, that's a little baseline. What are some traditions you have in your organization because your competition utilizes them to some degree? 